Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my August book haul. So in the month of August, I tried to limit myself as far as my book buying. I want to go on a book buying ban maybe sometime in the next couple of months because my TBR is getting completely out of hand. But this month I acquired a total of eight books. I'm really excited to talk about all of them. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. I also have a few British goodies I'm going to include at the end of the haul just for fun. So the first couple of books actually that I acquired this month, I actually bought last month but I forgot to put them in last month's haul. So the first one that I have to talk about is called Stalking Jack the Ripper and this is by Carrie Maniscalco. This is a book that I have been seeing going around booktube for a probably about a year now. I know everybody who has read it has really really enjoyed it from what I have seen. This is a historical fiction novel that follows our main character. Her name is Audrey and she lives in Victorian London and she becomes obsessed with uh, Jack the Ripper who is a very famous serial killer and just like the title says she stalks him and tries to figure out who he actually is. I Like I said I've been hearing nothing but good things about this. I know Sasha over at Book Utopia really really likes this book. And I believe there is a sequel coming out next month. So, really excited to dive in. This seems like a really great fall read. So, maybe I'll pick it up next month or in October. Speaking of fall reads, the next book is another very popular book here on Booktube. Everybody raves about this book if they have read it. And that book is called The Night Circus. This is by Erin Morgenstern. Like I said, very, very popular book here on Booktube. I have not read it myself, but I saw this on sale at my library so I picked it up and I am really excited to dive in. This is another book I probably am going to read sometime in the fall. This is a YA fantasy novel that follows a circus that only comes around at night it seems like and it comes out around without warning and behind the scenes there's a fierce competition between two young magicians who are kind of battling it out to be the top magician so really really interesting can't wait to dive in and see what all the hype is about. So the next book I have to talk about is another somewhat popular book. I haven't been hearing too many people talk about this recently, but I believe when I came out it was kind of popular here on Booktube. And my mom actually just read this book last month and absolutely loved it. So this book is called The Nightingale and this is by Kristen Hanna and this is the UK paperback edition I got from Book Depository. Um, from what I understand, this is another historical fiction novel. It takes place in Paris. It follows two young sisters who are living in France, like I said, during World War II. So that's pretty much all I know. I know that I love World War II fiction and I am really excited to see what these young girls go through while the war is going on. Nothing but great things. My mom absolutely loved this book, so I'm hoping I will enjoy it as well. The next book I got this month was a book I was sent to for review by the author. So thank you so much to this author for sending me this. And this book is called Retrograde. This is by Peter Crawden. This is a science fiction book that follows three main characters who are on a mission to Mars um, when something happens on Earth and they have to try to figure out how to kind of save the Earth from devastation. So it's kind of giving me like dystopian vibes mixed in with The Martian. Uh, which I know is a very popular book. I haven't read The Martian, but it sounds somewhat similar to that. So, again, really excited to dive in. Perfectly, perfect fall read. The next one is one that I have been anticipating since I heard about this book. It's one of my most anticipated books of this year, and that book is called Little Monsters. This is by Kara Thomas. This is a YA mystery novel, and it follows our main character who she moves to this small town and she kind of become, uh, forms this small group of friends and one by one after a party all of her friends either disappear or are killed and that's what I'm getting from the synopsis and I believe she becomes a suspect in these murders. So definitely sounds interesting. I am really excited to dive in. This is either going to be on, I saw my TV, TBR for this month, maybe into next month I will read this because really really excited to dive in and for some reason like all the books I picked up this month are like perfect fall, so yay. And the next three books are all kind of the same thing. There's a whole different theme going on. If you guys have seen my past few book hauls, you would know that I have been picking up at least one to three copies of Harry Potter each month, and this is no exception. 
So I decided to pick up three copies of Harry Potter, uh, all not all the same book, thankfully, but I am just so excited. So the first two one copies I picked up, I was on vacation in Savannah, Georgia, and I picked these up for like three dollars a piece. So I picked up paperback versions of the Chamber of Secrets as well as the Deathly Hallows. These are books two and seven in the series. I finally finished all the Harry Potter books last year. I completely read reread the entire series and now I have every single one except for The Cursed Child in paperback. So I have a complete first seven books in paperback and I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be planning on rereading the series sometime in the next couple of months so stay tuned for that. And then the last Harry Potter book I picked up this month is a hardcover version of The Sorcerer's Stone. I have a paperback version of the book and I also have the 20th anniversary edition in hardcover but I wanted the original US cover in hardcover so I finally picked this up and now I'm officially only missing two of the books in hardcover. I'm missing The Order of the Phoenix and The Half-Blood Prince. I have a copy of the Half Blood Prince in hardcover, but it doesn't have the dust track. So either I'm gonna have to find the dust track just by itself, or another edition that has a dust track on. So hopefully I can find that in the next few months. And then the last book I have to talk about for this haul is actually a book I picked up for school. I start school in about two, a week and a half, two weeks, and I'm taking two classes, and one of them is statistics. I took that in high school. But I figured I need to refresh my memory since it's been about three years since I graduated. So I picked up Statistics for Dummies by Deborah Ram Rumsey. So this is kind of just what it says in the title. It's just a refresher for people who are either just learning statistics or want to refresh their memory of statistics. So this is definitely going to come in handy. I start in two weeks, so really excited to dive back into this. And that is all the books I picked up this month. Now I figured I would include these three little goodies I picked up in Salem, Massachusetts uh, the other day. So these are all related to Harry Potter. So Salem, Massachusetts, if you guys are not familiar, is very famous for the Salem Witch Trials, which happens back in the 1600s. And the town still kind of embraces that today. And they have quite a few shops that sell Harry Potter merchandise. So I was down there and I picked up three little pins. So the first one, I actually picked this up last fall, but I figured I would include it in this haul anyways. So this first one is this little one, and it says, it has a skull on it, and it says Avada Kedavra. So you guys can see that. So that's really cool. All these buttons kind of have a similar theme to it. The next one I picked up is this one, which has the dark mark on it, the sign of the Death Eaters. And then the last one I picked up is this one with Voldemort. So that of those three, I was going to put these on my backpack just in time for school because can't go wrong with them. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what books you picked up this month because I would love to know. I will have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog. They are all linked down below as always. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.